We all know water softeners use salt, but how do you know what's the right amount of salt your water softener should be using? Maybe it's using more than it did before. Maybe you've heard neighbors or other families use more or less salt than yours does. Why is that? What determines the amount of salt used in a water softener? Well, I'm going to explain it to you starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. Now, whether you're a do-it-yourself homeowner, a plumber, or a water treatment uh, professional, this video is definitely for you. Knowing how a water softener works will definitely help you understand the whole process a little bit better. If you're not sure, I've got a link in the description down below that'll take you right to my video on how a water softener works. Basically how water softener works is water flows into the brine tank, the water touching the salt absorbs the salt, makes it into brine, and that brine's used to regenerate the media. The more water you use, the more often the, the water softener goes through a regeneration cycle, and the more salt and the more water that you're going to use. The larger your water softener, the more often it's going to uh, go through that cycle again, because you're going to be using more water. Now, if you have a standard efficiency water softener, like this one here, you're going to use more salt than you would with a high efficiency water softener, like an Aquamaster or Water Boss water softener. It's highly dependent on how hard your water is. The harder the water, the more brine you're going to use, the more often it's going to regenerate, the more salt that you're going to use. Also, the amount of water you use, like I say, the larger your family size, you're going to be using a lot more water, so it's going to regenerate more often, hence more salt usage. It's very important that your water softener is a metered water softener, like this Hume Water Care clack valve water softener and this Aquamaster water softener. And basically what that means is it measures how much water your family uses and then regenerates based on that usage. The older technology time clock type water softener where we did a calculation and then calculated that it needs to regenerate every three or four days to make sure your, wa your family had soft water, definitely use far more salt and far more water than the, the newer metered water softeners do. With the newer technology, higher efficiency water softeners, it's very important to know not only how hard your water is, how much iron there is in your water, and how much manganese, so your water softener is set properly to use the minimal amount of salt possible. So remember I said the more water you use, the more often your water softener is going to regenerate. So another way that you can minimize salt usage is make sure you have no leaks. Even a minor leak, like a toilet running a little bit or something like that, can use far more water than you think it will. And because of that, your water softener will regenerate far more often than it really should. Now you may be wondering, hey, why don't I just lower the salt settings in the programming and that way my water softener will use less salt per regeneration. Yeah, you're right, it will. But the problem is you're going to run out of capacity. So after the day after it regenerates or the next two or three days, you, your water will be soft. And then for the next couple of days, it'll be hard before it regenerates again. You definitely don't want that to happen. Because of all these variables, it's difficult to predict exactly how many bags of salt you'll go through a month. Whether it's half a bag a month, or whether it's three, two or three bags a month. It all depends on water hardness, how much water you're using, the efficiency of your water softener, and a whole bunch of other things. So what are three things that you can do to make sure your water softener uses as little salt as possible for your family? One, make sure that there's no plumbing leaks anywhere. Two, choose a, an efficient metered water softener. And three, make sure you've had your water tested so that you've got the correct settings for hardness, iron, and manganese. For my next video on water softeners, click over here and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, add them down below. I love reading them and I'd love to answer yours.